Morning everybody. So there I was, just looking at my plants. Admiring how awesome that Drosera flower still continues to be. That's my Drosera capansis albino. And so on this side there is not sure if I can get it there, but there is a second flower uncurling in the albino here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this flower complete its life cycle. And that flower will probably be sorry Basil will be taller. And I'm going to clip this as soon as that completes its its cycle, as soon as the last flower is done. That way that I can harvest the seeds and the plant can focus on the new flower. But also don't forget, we want these guys to focus on its leaves too, because those are the part that eat the, the bugs. <laughs> and so, that's why I'm going to clip that. Uh, flower probably in about three or four days maybe a week something like that is what I'm guessing until then that flower is just awesome and then I went looking to my other ones there's a spatulata just glistening in the sun why not as being awesome Still one flower per plant that's in there. There's two plants in there. And then I seen this guy. Right there. There. Is a uh, flower coming in on my Drosera capensis. This is my first Drosera and also the last to flower. I don't know what color flowers that one's going to make, but we will find out. <laughs> also, all of the uh, leaf clippings are doing good. That right there, you can see it. Little, two little starter leaves. That's a baby uh, uh, albino. And there's another baby albino. These guys here got their own lighting the other day. And so our uh, leaf pullings of spatulata and one of just the regular capansis. Okie dokie. Just wanted to show off a little bit. I love my flowers. Have a good guys.